Don't sting me, because you will die, and I, I will cry. Ow! If the bees bother you, boy, maybe do not stand so close to the hive. But I need honey. Just a little. It's for my friend. It's all she likes to eat. She's so gentle and kind, but if she doesn't get her honey, I don't know what will happen. I've tried poking it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. My friend loves honey. She has a very sweet tooth. I only want to scrobble a little. They have plenty to share. My friend loves honey. She has a very sweet tooth. I've tried poking it with a stick, but it riots them up something chronic. I only... You got the honey? Oh, thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. Leave it on that rock and she'll be right along. the tree. Hurry, before she comes! Come sit and wait with me. She'll be here soon. Winifred looked after me ever since mother and father died. She's my best friend. The other children tease me. Sometimes they throw stones to shoo me away and call me the grubby watcher in the woods. Winifred saved my life. I was curled up on the grass, praying that God would take me too. And she scared the wolves away. There you are, Winifred! I got you honey! Winifred, my bestest of bears. Any day spent with you is my favorite day. So today is my new favorite day. This kind stranger got you some honey. What do we say? Thank you. All that honey must have given you quite a thirst. Are you really all right out here on your own, little one? Silly. I'm not alone with the very best of bears by my side. Goodbye, and thank you. Come on, Winifred. Shall we walk to the lake? Maybe we can splash in the reeds. Strange fellowship. But then, friendship can often be found in unexpected places. <laughs> <laughs> 